Hi everyone, it's the Hummingbird update I've been waiting to give you. Phase one is complete. Lots of hard flying the last few days, all kinds of testing, gross weight, etc., kind of thing. And uh, big deal tonight. Uh, I'm really excited, by the way, with the new dampers. That's why the, the last few days I've got so much flying in. It's just a huge change in the aircraft feel and flight performance. So that's pretty cool. And got some real good uh, endurance numbers as well over the uh, last two days. It looks like normal cruise, maybe close to 80 knots, 75 to 80 knots, and um, two hours plus 30 to 40 minutes of reserve. So uh, planning for our Oshkosh trip. But tonight, let's talk about the real event. The person behind the camera all this time that you hear every once in a while. So who might that be? Oh, who's this? Carol. I guess she doesn't talk. <laughs> I prefer to be behind the camera. Ah, big night tonight. Yes, I get my very first ride in the Hummingbird. And don't let him fool you, you know. He kept saying, I got to go fly. I got to get the hours flown off. And he makes it sound like it's so hard. But it's flying a helicopter. So you know, guys know that's probably a lot of fun, right? No, I've actually suffered through it quite a bit. <laughs> so here we go. We have our first passenger. Hopefully uh, you'll get some sound bites in flight. We've got a new audio uh, cable to the GoPros and the intercoms. So instead of just hearing helicopter noise, uh, we should get some reactions from Carol here. So uh, looks like a great evening and uh, nice and cool. And hopefully the wind's dying down. And here we go. All right, the big question, what's the verdict? Okay, you can keep it. Oh, yes, <laughs> I can keep it. Yes. So it was great. Yeah, anything yeah. you liked or you want to talk about? Well, or? it's huge. Um, Visibility is great. I could see out the floor. Um, seats are comfortable. Oh, the chin windows, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, yeah, the yep. chin windows. Chin windows. Yeah. Um, anyway, but it, it was awesome. Oh, that's cool. Anything you want to tell anybody else out so there? So anybody, about it? anybody who's out there building an airplane, a helicopter, anything like that, keep working on it. It'll be worth it. Yeah, I think so too. Tonight was a big night for me as well. I think that's just way cool to finally be able to take. I don't know if this is showing, but we got our ride here a little over a year since we started it, and it was just a wonderful flight tonight. So uh, those of you thinking about it, go do it. Hey, the camera looks like it's going. Hopefully the audio is working. Now what we're doing is we have uh, 42 gallons of fuel. Is that too loud? So Yes, it's too loud on my side. The intercom is right here, the outer knob, okay? Okay. I mean the little knob, and the other knob is the radio. Okay. okay? So how's that better? Yes. Okay. And then you have adjustments here if you want them. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get the barrel. Okay, so we just wait till we got 200 degrees here. Run up the rotor. We got 42 gallons of fuel. Uh, obviously, it doesn't know it's a helicopter because it says five hours remaining. <laughs> I know it idle. Now that number is going to go down. All right, we'll get the parking brake set before we... Okay, all set. Do a checklist. Uh, let's see. Strobes and navs are on. Good. All right, then we'll go to 3,000. Check the ignitions. We'll do a freewheel check. Parking brake, landing lights, trim, fuel pump. Get all that when we do the run up. All right, they're coming up here. Okay, 200. We're going to engage rotors. Start around 1800 here, and the rotor should start to spin. We've got rotor engagement. Any indication? 
Oh, our tank generator is working. Yep, it's working. A good engagement. We've got transmission pressure. See it there? Yes. 2500. All the other gauges look good. The alternator's online. All right, we're going to stay at 2200 for a couple of minutes. Let everything warm up. A good engagement. Temperatures are all good. Oil's coming up good. So we're going to go to 2500. And we'll go taxi. smoother since the first time you got in and I taxied and you jump. Remember the first time engine start, we taxi. Yes. I jumped, didn't I? Because I wasn't yeah. expecting it. You weren't ready for it. I wasn't ready. You just cleared off the driveway. I know, I saw that. <laughs> the taxis very, very nicely. Okay, we're going to go up to 3,000. It smooths out, you notice? Yes, it's much better than when we tried the one Chadwick on the ground the first time. Yeah. All right, there's 3,000 pressures. Temps look good. We're going to check the ignitions. On the left ignition, which is the uh, electronic, glycoming. Back to both. Out over to the mag. Good, back to both. Now we're going to check a needle split. There we go, looks good. All right, let's get this checklist. Ignitions, freewheel, parking brake is off. Any lights are coming on. The trim is good. Fuel pump coming on. Engine, we're gonna go up. And transponder, we've got on ground. That'll catch it when we go. Engine instruments are good, and the transponder will catch it. All right, I'm going to shut my door. Mine's already shut. Right? All right, let's go taxi on the runway. Mallard helicopter is taxi runway seven, Mallard. a lot different in the cockpit than it does on the video. Does it? All right, fuel pump's on. Runway looks clear. Nobody to wave to in the window. All right, let's come up. Close, huh? Okay, we'll do a hover check and just check all the engine instruments. We're going to do a 360, check for traffic. I don't see anybody. Pressures are all good. All right, all set. Mallard yeah, helicopter is departing. We're going seven. Goes up, huh? Yeah. What do you think of the view? Awesome. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, the trees fell down. Yes, they did. Hey, we're coming left. So does it feel smooth to you? Oh yeah, it's smooth. Is it? Okay, good. Altitude. So there we are at 700 feet. We'll stay there. Something. What am I looking at? They're building something. Yeah, they're building down there, aren't they? That's right off 155. Uh, 
have the windows, the vent works good in the it windows. It does, doesn't it? You got the lower vent. You can feel enough air coming through. Yep. Of course, it's not 95 yet. Okay, right. yeah, it's 73 up here right now. See the fuel range went down. <laughs> so different, better than you expected, or what do you think? It's nice. It is? Yeah. Can I keep it? Huh? Can I? Can I? You better. <laughs> I'm not used to being on this side. Oh, that's funny. In all the years of flying, I've never been on this side. That's true. The screen looks nice. It does, yeah, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. Yeah, Rob and his team do a really great job. <laughs> 